Oh, what's good YouTube, it's Boardsy. This is going to be an updated setup tour, but not only that, it's actually gonna be more of a room tour and also a puppy tour because I did recently get this guy. I made a post on YouTube saying his name was GPX. His name's obviously not GPX, his name is Rex. He's a skipper key, but yeah, I'm gonna get right into the setup tour. So the first thing we have, um, a classic, a staple of the channel, the SpongeBob rubbish bin right next to the Lysol disinfectant spray. And then we have my desk. I don't know what it is, but quite clearly it's long. It's like definitely real wood and very, it's a solid desk. I don't know what else to say about it. There's enough room for everything. Keyboard is the Wooting 60HE. It's just absolutely the best gaming keyboard. A close second is the Apex Pro Mini, but it's like just not quite as good. The new Final S keyboard should be sick as fuck as well. Then we got the caffeine. Everybody's like, what are those pills? It's just caffeine pills. I don't always take them. My cactus, this thing has been alive for years. You can go back to some of my setup tours. It's unreal. Uh, candle, big candle guy, Yankee candle. It's like pretty chill. They always have some baller sales. And then the mice, a whole fucking arsenal of the mice that are generally on my desk. And the mouse shelf is still here as well. It's unreal how much dust some of these mice are collecting. These are the ones that I really don't touch anymore. Um, but yeah, getting back to my desk, these are the mice. My main mouse pad, I just made a video on like the main mouse pads I use. Currently, it's the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro, one of the best cloth pads on the market, in my opinion. Now we're gonna get to the headphones, and these are Focal Clears, and you can see that these are not in the best condition. The headband did break, but it was nothing that Gorilla Tape couldn't fix. In the meantime, I was like, oh, maybe I should try out some IEMs, and man, these things were terrible. I need to return them to Amazon. Like, I, they were just so uncomfortable. I probably tried them for five minutes on four different occasions, so 20 second, or twenty minutes of testing in total, and I just absolutely loathed it. I think IEMs are like some type of social experiment. Uh, the microphone setup, cloud lifter, Scarlett 2i2, which is also like my amp DAC setup because uh, my shit stack broke as well. All of my audio stuff's just been breaking. I don't really care to replace it. And then the Electro Voice RE20, which is the microphone I use in my reviews. Obviously an incredible microphone, just legendary. It's so much better than the Shure SM7B. Uh, monitors, I still have the 390 Hertz um, Acer monitor, but I am looking to upgrade to the 1440p 360 Hertz from Asus. I'm just begging them for that right now. And then a 240 Hertz Acer panel. It's really shitty, honestly. Um, but yeah, the monitor setup. I don't know, I could like fit three, but I just can't be arsed too. And now we get to my favorite part, the biggest change in this recent setup tour, the corner shelving unit. This thing was insane to install but it was so worth it. Like I could not have recorded a setup tour before because it was just, my room was a mess. And this has allowed me to uh, store lots and lots of peripherals in a cleanly manner. I think it's pretty sick. I have a few sports cards, um, like Joe Namath, Eddie Matthews, nothing crazy, but I'm a bit into card collecting. If you watch these events for a while, you know I do random giveaways. So this is gonna be the first one, the first person to comment Zowie, you get a Zowie mouse of your choice, but stay tuned to the end of the video um, for more massive giveaways. I got some keyboards here. This is a custom one that was actually gifted to me at BoardsyCon with novel key creams. It's an unreal keyboard, definitely the best typing experience. Nintendo Switch, I literally never fucking use. Like, I don't know what the point of it is. A few keyboards that I'm probably gonna be giving away, some more decent mice, more keyboards. And now we get to my favorite mouse pad stack, the Artisan mouse pad stack. Like, it's just so epic and amazing. It's just like straight Artisan mouse pads. Then these are mouse pads I like have to review. Holy shit, there's like, 50 of them here. It's unreal how many mouse pads I have. You guys are going to see it. It's a recurring theme. Now these are mouse boxes, some other boxes, now more mouse pads. These are mouse pads I'm really not touching. Probably another 50 sky pad, um, cowboy hat. I don't know why I have that. Workout and more product boxes to line out the floor. God forbid I have any room to stand on. You might see this carpet. It's about as flat as it can be. I had to put my PC on a little little riser because it was overheating but yeah the carpet is only there because the floorboards in my apartment are like made of paper and my chair was fucking all of them up so i had to get some carpeting the chair is the steel case leap v2 i've had this chair for years now it's a it's an epic chair i don't know what else there is to be said about it i think i forgot to talk about my camera which is also new and was a huge improvement a lot of people noticed in my videos that is the sony zve 10 and i have a sigma 16 mm lens because i am a Sigma male, um, YouTube thing, boardsy, awesome. PlayStation 5 on the floor, bad C tech switches that I haven't used yet, but shout out to him. 
And yeah, the PC, it's nothing crazy, like a 3080 Ti, some $500 RAM, but it's like, it's in a shitty case. I don't really care to have the best of the best PC. But I think that about covers my room, the best YouTube office in the world. I think I can confidently say that. I think the office, we're gonna go to my room. Obviously some puppy toys on the floor, a dumbbell bench, wait, is he here? Also a sleepy dog under the bench. Um, and then we go to the puppy crate, which is behind my wonderful queen size bed. Uh, we've got to get through the pull up bar, but eventually you will discover some more mouse pads on the ground. I really don't want to pick everything up, but in this pillow bag, there are like a hundred mouse pads. There's a few more black squares, like an extra Ikea pad, some resistance bands. You know, honestly, it's like it's scuffed in that area. And then in this corner, we have the mouse shelf, like I said, more mouse pad boxes and shit. There's my broken shit stack. And now we have the shoes. People are gonna be like, NPC shoes. When you wear size 14, 15 shoes, it gets a lot harder. Most things stop at size 13. Um, so I just have a few pairs of like actual beaters and some decent shoes. And yeah, that's about all for the setup. It has changed, it has gotten a bit cleaner, I would say. I'd say once I got this corner shelving unit, my whole life, my whole mindset changed. For what I think everybody clicked on this video for, the puppy review, this is Rex. He is a skipper key. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask the breed. He was born in July. He's in a teething phase right now, so all he wants to do is bite. But like, isn't he just adorable? But to get into the review, my initial impressions were pretty positive. Like he wasn't crying a lot the first few days. He's a very smart, very inquisitive puppy. Um, he's very docile, he's cool with everything, not an aggressive personality. In terms of the coating, very fucking fluffy. I should bust out a lighter test, but man, his fur is soft. He certainly has puppy fur. The clicks, the clicks are very fucking sharp. Like, these things are like razors. You let him bite you and he'll definitely leave a mark. Way better than like mushy optical switches. The energy, very high, very high energy. I'd say the battery life is surprisingly good because he is a high energy, high pulling rate puppy, but surprisingly, it does not wear out too quickly. I didn't want to say the D word, but yeah. Um, overall, great puppy, still learning like tricks and shit because he is quite the young lad, but I'm pretty sure um, by the time the next setup tour runs around, he'll be a much older, much more sophisticated dog. Uh, but yeah, you can see the potential already. And he's had enough of the puppy review. But yes, he will be receiving the seal of approval. Isn't that exciting, puppy? Oh, seal of approval! Yeah, you can go back to sleep, honey. But um, yeah, now we are going to get to the giveaway portion of this video, which is actually all that probably anybody cares about. Okay, back on the main setup for the giveaway, it's going to be five mice, two keyboards, five mouse pads, and uh, the pair of IEMs. I said I was going to return them, but that doesn't make sense. I should give this shitty product to somebody else. Um, but the mice, as you can see, an all red Pulsar X2 medium, never been opened. Um, the Lamzu Atlantis, one of the best mice on the market in my opinion, this blue and pink copy. Um, this Overlight, it's a 40 gram 3D printed mouse inspired by the G Pro Superlight made by Luchout. I'm going to make a review of his other mice soon, but yeah, I'm going to be giving this one away. The Vancer Caster, which I reviewed recently, not, not the best mouse ever. And then the grand prize for gaming mice, nobody is going to believe what this is. The one of one autographed smiley face edition glorious model oak pro so that is that is an absolute fleet of gaming mice that you can potentially win and all you have to do is i'm um, obviously subscribe because i'm going to announce the winners to this when i hit 180k and just comment mouse and that will enter you in the giveaways and there's going to be five random winners um for the mouse pads it's really just like pick any non-artisan mouse pad there will be five of those winners as well um, two keyboards i'll throw like the options up on the screen if you want to be entered for the mouse pads comment mouse pad and comment keyboard if you want the keyboard you could leave all of them in the same comment but uh yeah make sure to be subscribed i will announce the winners in a youtube community post and in my discord but yeah this is really the little i can do to show appreciation for the crazy lifestyle that gaming mice have allowed me to live as you can see i have a lot of extra shit so i should i should give away a little bit of it um a lot of you guys remember boardsycon one there is going to be boardsy fest still finalizing the details but that will be giveaways upon giveaways giveaways the world has never seen before um so yeah make sure to stay tuned for all of that and yeah i hope everybody enjoyed the uh, setup tour the puppy review and of course the giveaways but that's going to be all peace there is also a boardsy mouse dropping by the end of the year but you did not hear that from me